What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Look guys, and I'm gonna be wrong, I'd rather be wrong telling you to temper your expectations. And based on the previous outings at CinemaCon, Marvel Studios never had gone as hard as they went today with huge reveals, basically a full panel style presentation, Kevin Feige live and on stage and everything. Well, obviously the biggest part of the presentation was the highly anticipated new footage for Deadpool and Wolverine, where they showed what they referred to as a nine minute spoilerish free clip and since it was only shown to attendees that were live at the con, we have to go off secondhand descriptions. We spent the last hour since the descriptions have hit the internet to piece together what I believe is the most comprehensive breakdown of all of that footage, including dialogue. We're gonna go over it in full, including the Hollywood Reporter's description and a ton of other accounts. We're breaking it all down. The new nine minutes revealed today at CinemaCon by Marvel Studios for Deadpool and Wolverine. But first, I wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder, a free-to-play epic military game with land, sea, and air vehicles spanning an entire century. It's available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. War Thunder really is able to capture the immense scale of military conflict with its diverse selection of accurate vehicles and locations all over the world. The entire aesthetic of War Thunder is constantly being upgraded through gameplay, physics, and sound, which makes for an absolutely stunning game that really allows players to immerse themselves. Now, if you're a fan of military vehicles, you are going to be absolutely shocked with the accuracy and detail, which really makes each vehicle feel unique. And in War Thunder, all advanced technologies are available. Guided missiles, aviation protection, smoke screen, night vision devices. What's more, with the recent Alpha Strike update to the game, Hungarian aviation is now available along with a plethora of new equipment, both modern and classic. Visual effects have been significantly improved and gameplay has been refined based on community requests. They even dropped a new map for intense aviation and tank battles, North Holland, fight in the red light district or create a small apocalypse in a shopping center. Download War Thunder for free using the link in the description. All new players and those who haven't played War Thunder for half a year or more will receive some special bonuses, rentals for the P-40E1 aircraft and M4 tank for a week, along with free unique skins for them, a special decorator, Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, three premium vehicles for a week, a week of premium account access, and even more gifts. Hurry up, the American vehicle bonus season will end soon. Okay, so while there may be some differing takes out there on specific dialogue or details, keep in mind this was an auditorium full of people who couldn't record this. This is the description that was first reported by The Hollywood Reporter. Then we've gone in and added in as many of the other quotes we could round up from other descriptions into this Hollywood Reporter description to try to make the most cohesive breakdown of what the nine minutes of footage was. It opens with Wade Wilson riding in a car with children. He says he might want kids one day, but quote, doesn't have a lot of vaginal sex. Wilson reconnects with Rob Delaney's Peter who tries to convince him to get back into the superhero game. He comes home to a surprise party and catches up with Colossus. When Wade enters the room, he tells them all, if this were five years ago, you'd all be dead. Colossus shares that he's been watching Great British Bake Off. Quote, that show saved my life from suicide, Wilson replies. Wilson explains that, quote, cocaine is the only thing Kevin Feige says is off limits. He then adds they know all the slang. Blind Al replies by coyly saying, do you want to build a snowman? Wade and Vanessa are now broken up after she's brought back to life. The TVA shows up at Wade's door as attendees to the party, and we see the same scene from the trailer but with different dialogue. Wade thinks they've ordered strippers. Wade is captured by the TVA. He wakes up in the office with Matthew McFadden's character. He tells Deadpool that he's been chosen for a special mission to save the sacred timeline. Agent Paradox says, quote, we're really a watchdog organization. We're in charge of defending the sacred timeline. You've been chosen for a higher purpose, one that could save the entire sacred timeline. To which Deadpool says the sacred timeline, I assume I'm going to Marvel? The clip also included a huge fourth wall break in which Deadpool runs and smashes his head through the lens and then exclaims, F you Fox, I'm going to Disneyland. Footage of Chris Evans' Captain America shown in Deadpool salutes him. He sees a clip of Chris Hemsworth as Thor crying over his body. Quote, that happens in a distant future, Agent Paradox tells him. Quote, I am Marvel Jesus, Deadpool proclaims. He addresses the camera and says, I'm going to Disneyland. Then the footage ends with Deadpool getting a new super suit. That's a scene that's further described as when Wade Wilson sees the TVA's tailor for a new outfit, he is adamant about keeping his katanas before getting in a car with Wolverine. Wolverine asks, what's with the suit? 
To which Deadpool replies, friends don't let friends leave the house looking like they fight for the Los Angeles Rams. Now a lot of this footage admittedly lines up with what we've already seen in the trailer. I was actually able to use a lot of the trailer footage that coincided with what I was describing, maybe just a little more extended for some of the scenes. But that scene of Chris Hemsworth's Thor crying over Deadpool. And I like that they mentioned that because we are in the middle of the multiverse saga. Who knows if that could have been a reference to someone else. Man, that is actually crazy because my gut tells me that that is going to happen and that that is a scene from the upcoming, say, Avengers 5 or maybe even Secret Wars. Remember, there was a huge report out there confirmed by multiple sources that after having seen Deadpool and Wolverine and changing writers to Michael Waldron to rewrite Avengers 5 and 6 and make them one cohesive piece that they wanted to involve Deadpool and Wolverine a lot more because of how good this film was. And that same sentiment was reiterated by Kevin Feige and during the live panel, his enthusiasm for this film led him to walk out on stage and proclaim that Wolverine and Deadpool was effing awesome and that what was also effing awesome was the director in Sean Levy. That's what we had been hearing in the rumor mill for quite some time. Guys, look, I am at an all-time high as far as excitement for Deadpool and Wolverine. This movie is going to be awesome. I love the first two Deadpools. I really like the way that Ryan Reynolds has sort of pioneered what he wanted to do with the character and really been the producer, the writer, the main force behind this character from the beginning. It just goes to show you how much he cares about it, and that's translated into how good the work is. Hopefully something that Marvel Studios can latch onto and really parlay into the excitement for Avengers Secret Wars. Also, X-Men 97 is absolutely killing it. That episode five is probably the best piece of Marvel television uh, I've seen and in quite some time really outdoes a lot of their live action stuff they've put on Disney Plus. And that's not a bad thing that just goes to show that Marvel is totally capable of doing it. You guys let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel, and we're going to continue to do so until the PlayStation 5 Pro comes out, and then we'll switch over. In the meantime, we just announced a brand new winner for the launch of X-Men 97. In fact, he just DM'd me on Instagram, showed me a picture. He just got it this past weekend. We'll have another winner next month to coincide with the finale of X-Men 97. If you want to be entered to win, or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live in the end of the video with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. If you liked today's video, I'd sincerely appreciate it if you hit the like button and the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. Please stay safe and vigilant on any YouTube channel where prizes are given away regularly. Years ago, we dealt with a problem that apparently is still rampant on the platform as they've been targeting my friend's channels. That is to say, if you're anywhere, Instagram, YouTube, any platform, and you should get a comment, please try to remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, claim to be that content creator, and the whole is to comment that you've won something and then get you to respond. Never share your information on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp. And please try to remember that no content creator, not myself or anyone else, will ever charge you for the shipping if you win a prize for that channel. That's a dead giveaway that it's a scam. Be safe, be vigilant. And if you should get a comment like that, again, on any platform, report the comment directly to the platform. YouTube is super fast about deleting those comments and you're really doing everybody at the community a service, not just helping out the content creator, but but everywhere that account has commented now disappears. So just think of how many people you're saving going through the same mess. The best way to keep up with the content at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at Amfires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music with the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon. Yeah. <laughs>